Let's also conclude. You know, during during the morning period of the sixth, uh, the the fourth uh, president, rather, Rupia Banda, you were standing up for for those mourning the late truck driver in this case, and just trying to seek some social justice for that. However, some people who were mourning the the former late president have been described as hypocrites by former president Lungu. What is your take on this uh, ongoing conversation? Look, uh, uh, this is a point where I say, okay, let me bring the tempo down and, uh, you know, uh, be very reasonable and sound very sober because uh, that is what the old national morning uh, situation or incident requires. Sobility, uh, reasonableness, and, of course, uh, patriotism. So let me take this opportunity to congratulate President Adainde Ishlem and his government who was involved in the manner that they handled the funeral. Frankly speaking, they did a tremendous job. Everybody, including the people that were arranging chairs and everything, I want to congratulate them. President Adainde Ishlem, I want to congratulate him specifically on showing that national unity. He did very well, extremely well, to show Zambia as a united country, Zambia as a democratic country, Zambia a country that stands together when they are befallen with bereavement. And now, at the end, just at the end, when everything has finished, everything has been done well, we have the former president coming out and calling others hypocrites at the grave of RRB. Forgetting all these things that have happened, surely, in as much as President uh, Edgar Chagwalung has issues with President Haga in the which we don't know, in as much as I appreciate that, and I'm, I'm not disputing it, I'm not disputing it, he knows better. But him bringing it out at that point, surely that was not wise. That was not wise. I know some people are saying, but it is true. It is, yes, it could be true. But, you know, wisdom and prudence means that you bring out issues at the right time. You don't bring out issues, you know, when everything, everyone is mourning and everyone is going. And that's when you, you are sort of calling people back to say, ah, there is hypocrisy here. Surely, surely, even those that are defending, this is again, like I said, that we don't like to take responsibility. This is why we don't go forward. Mm. People who are defending President Edgar Chagwalungu, they must take responsibility and recognize that that was not the time. That was not the time. Just what we should have spoken about there, the question was very specific. What do you make of, you know, Arab's life? Eh? And, and I, I was hoping that you would talk about Arabi's life and not talk about hypocrisy. That was totally you know, away from what uh, we were doing at that point. We would have spoken about hypocrisy now, after everybody's gone, and then President Ed Galung would have come up to say, look, what happened there? I mean, it looked so nice, but behind the scenes, this is what was happening. We would have supported him, not at that point. Mm. But, but uh, so, uh, is, is, is it fair enough to conclude that maybe he was talking about the, um, the, the current president now? Because people have made their own interpretations of what he could be talking about. And Absolutely. There's, there's others Absolutely. who think that. Mm. He, I mean, look, <laughs> Chimwaga, if you are a president, you at a certain level, at a presidential level. Uh, so when the president is talking about hypocrisy, I cannot think that he's talking about hypocrisy of uh, Gary Combo. I cannot see, think that he's talking about the hypocrisy of Jack Mwimbo. At that level, basically, he was directly talking about Aga in the Hitchin. Because this is the man who was the, the center, that was the chief mourner. He was the man that was ushering everyone. He was the man that was introducing guests who were coming, introducing them to other people, including Edgar Chagwalungu. And we saw all these pictures. And this, in my interpretation, this is what Edgar Lungu was calling hypocrisy. But surely, in my view, in as much as there could be something, what Hata in the history of Madrid was good, because even if you are different, but there is a funeral and you have guests, you don't 
bring it out until everybody's gone. This is what we are taught even in our homes. Why are we living in our homes? You may be different with your brother, with your wife. But the moment there is something and people are at your home, you all behave, you show family. Until after they are gone, you don't bring it out, but you know, always, therefore, child, you can't say that is wisdom. You can't say that is true. It, is, it could be true, but that was not how a father of the nation should speak. It was not how a statesman should speak. President Edgar Tagwalungu needs to learn how to behave as a statesman, needs to behave how to behave as a, as a former president. And as a father of the nation, as others want him to be. Otherwise, that is not the, the, that is not defeating all these titles that we are talking about. It spoke, he spoke like he's still in politics, you know. He spoke like he still has that issue, you know. He's still in, op he's in opposition and he's fighting. He's fighting, uh, 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 in the each of them, uh, taking away all the credit that he had made for our nation. Mr. Tyler, thank you so much for joining us on the Diamond Breakfast this morning. Wish you a great day. Thank you very much. We'll be joined by the Economic and Equity Party uh, President, Chilufia Tayali, and we've been talking about the fight for social justice in Zambia, and briefly also uh, talking about uh, the much, much discussed topic of hypocrisy during times of national mourning, which is a conversation we'll continue shortly with the Patriotic Front Chairman for Publicity and Information, in Ratho Nakachinda, so he'll be joining us shortly for that conversation. We also have a news recap for this hour still to come and more coming up on the Diamond Breakfast. We'll be right back.